hello everyone so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can configure a brush suit to intercept the traffic on an android operating system so i'm going to use jenny motion for the android emulator and a brush suit and i'm going to show you how you can install a brush certificate and you can how you can start uh, intercepting the traffic of the applications so let's start so first of all you need to uh, download and install jenny motion so you can just uh, go to the Jenny Motion official side and uh, download the setup according to your operating system if you are using Windows or your Linux or a Mac so according to your operating system just download and install the Jenny Motion software so here I am uh, just I have already installed the Jenny Motion in my Kali Linux and I am just simply uh, get any Android phone Android emulator just to Once your device is installed, just click on start. Okay, so once your device is started, the first thing we need to configure is uh, we need to install a BRUP certificate so we can uh, capture the HTTPS traffic. So for that, first go to your BRUP suit and we need to uh, export the certificate and we need to convert the particular certificate from uh, DER to uh, PEM. So first open your BRUP suit. Either you can, if you have a, if you have a professional version, you can uh, do the same configuration on the professional professional version. And and for me, I'm just currently using the community community edition. So first of all, we need to download the certificate to just to download the certificate just run the curl command localhost and our proxy ip short and hyphen o for the output and so here we can uh, successfully downloaded our certificate now we need to convert the uh, certificate from der to pem so particularly uh, particularly uh, to install our, our certificate our blockchain certificate in an android we need to convert uh, the certificate dr to pm extension so to that to convert the certificate uh, just run this uh, particular command open ssl x50549 inform and click enter now we successfully converted our certificate to pm format now we need to rename the particular uh, certificate uh, according to uh, the md5 sum of the certificate to to get the md5 sum we just uh, write a command inform pem so the first line the this 9a5b it's it's a it's a sum of your md5 certificate so you need to rename your certificate to the to, the, to particularly this uh, string so just copy it and dot zero okay now we have our uh, certificate so we just need to push the particular certificate to our android uh, internals files so uh, you can install a certificate in a two way either you just uh, you know uh, just drop drag and drop the particular certificate and install it as a user level or you can install it as a uh, like as, as a root level or as a uh, system level so i'm going to show you how you can install it as a system level so to that first of all just uh, uh, 
uh, let let's just check our device is connected or not okay our device is connected just now uh, post the particular certificate to system etc security and ca certs okay so we are, we are we are getting an error that the file is a read only file system so to to, to push our certificate in, in the root inside the root uh, inside the system directory we need to uh, remount the particular file system as a uh, read and write with the read and write permission so to that to do that just go go to the cell and now just remount the system as read and write with the read and write permission and just exit now just we need to we just try again we just try that uh, if if a particular system have a read and write permission then we are able to push the certificate so here you can see the push we one file is pushed so we successfully pushed our certificate into the android so to check just go to the settings uh, i think it's in uh, security Or you can just search trusted certificate and here you can found here you can see our port figure search certificate is successfully installed so now we can easily uh, now we can easily intercept the tra HTTPS traffic as well so to start intercepting the traffic first of all we need to uh, change our proxy settings to our specific address so we, we need to change it to our um, main vlan address and give a traffic 8080 port number is 80 so now you need to also configure the proxy inside your android so either you can uh, do it uh, i just go to the network setting internet and uh, just click on the settings icon from the advanced option here you can just set the proxy manually like uh, you need to enter the ip address of your host machine and the uh, port number or you can do the same thing using the command prompt so i'm showing you like how you can uh configure a proxy using command prompt so for that there's a simple uh, command available like adb shell settings put global http underscore proxy and then you need to enter the ip address of your host machine to along with the port number and all set you now you can able to intercept your traffic just go to uh, yeah just go to google.com and i just put intercept on now just click on search and it, as you can see uh, you can able to intercept the traffic using just forward it so that's how you can configure your uh, android with a brub suit to intercept the uh, traffic from your android machine so the same step you can follow on the windows machine or if you have any physical device available uh, root capability then you can follow the same device on your physical uh, android as well
so that's all for today's video i hope you guys uh, found this video informative thank you so much for watching with this video i, I will see you in the next video